Bog ecosystems like this one here form when divots in the landscape fill with water, then sphagnum moss grows and collects for centuries, creating a really dense store of carbon, which is super important, but there's very low nutrients. So you often get scraggly little shore pines like this tapering off into muskeg forests over here with a site index of about five to 10. Now this is technically an old growth forest ecosystem, even though it looks nothing like the old growth forest you probably have in your mind. And this is where the discrepancies between how much old growth we have left in the province really come into play because ecosystems like this, um, Northern spruce bogs, high alpine environments, anything with a site index of less than 20 is considered Considered low productivity old growth forest and you know there's very little trees here very little incentive to log and these ecosystems make up over 80 percent of the old growth forest we have left in the province whereas the high productivity old growth forest or anything with a site index of over 20 and the real banger ones with a site index of over 25 are down to less than 2.7 percent of their historic numbers um you know and they're still actively being logged today because there's obviously big trees there lots of incentive to keep doing so so it just makes you question you know this is all old growth forest but what types of forest do we want to have for our future